it's Mary from the Children's Room at the Hedberg Library. I'm coming to you with this month's Arrowhead Library short, and the theme is Animal Friends. This is a writing library short, so I'm going to give you a writing prompt. So for this activity, you will need some paper, a pencil or a pen, or whatever you like to write with, or you can have a device that you would type on if that's how you like to write. It's totally up to you however you like to create. So I'm going to share with you one of my most favorite picture books of all time. It's called A Sick Day for Amos McGee. After the story, I'm going to provide you with a fun writing prompt so you can write a little story. A Sick Day for Amos McGee Written by Philip C. Steed Illustrated by Aaron E. Steed Amos McGee was an early riser. Every morning when his alarm clock clanged, he swung his legs out of his bed and swapped his pajamas for a fresh pressed uniform. He would wind his watch and set a pot of water to boil, saying to the sugar bowl, a spoonful for my oatmeal, please, and two for my teacup. Belly full and ready for the workday, he ambled out the door. Every day, Amos waited for the number five bus. Next stop, City Zoo, the bus driver would call. 6 a.m., right on time, he'd reply. Amos had a lot to do at the zoo. He had always made time to visit his good Amos had a lot to do at the zoo, but he always made time to visit his good friends. He would play chess with the elephant, who thought and thought before making a move. Run races with the tortoise, who never ever lost. Sit quietly with the penguin, who was very shy. Lend a handkerchief to the rhinoceros, who always had a runny nose. And at sunset, read stories to the owl, who was afraid of the dark. One day, Amos awoke with the sniffles and the sneezes and the chills. He swung his achy legs out of bed, curled them back up again, and said, Ugh, I don't think I'll be going to work today. Meanwhile, at the zoo, the animals waited for their friend. The elephant arranged his pawns and polished his castles. The tortoise stretched his legs and limbered up. The penguin sat patiently all by himself. The rhinoceros worried that his allergies were worsening. The owl perched atop a tall stack of storybooks, scratching his head with concern. Where is Amos? The animals wondered. Later that day, where do you suppose they might be going? You notice what number bus they're on? Hmm, have you figured it out? That's right. Hooray, my good friends are here. The elephant prepared a game of chess. Amos thought and thought before making a move. I'm too tired to run races today, said Amos to the tortoise. Let's play hide-and-seek instead. The tortoise hid inside his shell. Amos hid beneath the covers. Amos yawned. Oh, I could use a nap. The penguin sat quietly. 
keeping Amos's feet warm. Can you see his feet? Achoo! Amos awoke with a sneeze. The rhinoceros was ready with a handkerchief. I'm beginning to feel so much better. Thank you, said Amos to his friends. He swung his legs out of bed. Perhaps we'll share a pot of tea. Amos wound his alarm clock. It's getting late, he said. After all, we have a morning bus to catch. So Amos said good night to the elephant, and good night to the tortoise, and good night to the penguin, and good night to the rhinoceros, and good night to the owl, who, knowing that Amos was afraid of the dark, read a story aloud before turning out the light. Good night. That was a sick day for Amos McGee. That's one of my favorite stories and I hope you liked it too. So now we're going to get to our writing prompt. The writing prompt is, if you could have any zoo animal become the size of a puppy and then you would get to have it as a pet, what animal would you choose? Why? Would you choose elephant? Would you choose giraffe? What would it be like to have that animal as a pet? Describe your daily life with your pet or tell a story about your life with it. You can be as creative as you want. Go ahead and pause the video and look at the prompt if you need to. You might want to start by brainstorming. You might want to come up with your ideas first. What animal are you going to choose? What does your daily life look like with that animal? Write down some ideas. Gather all your thoughts, then turn it into a story. Happy writing!